big news when it comes to robo taxis. San Francisco based Cruise is losing its biggest funder. General Motors is pulling the plug on the embattled driverless car company. GM owns about 90% of Cruise. After AI is the future. At least that's what a lot of people are saying. But this AI company that does robo taxis called Cruise, they would beg to differ. Cruise has just had their biggest backer pull out, which is General Motors. Yes, GM pulled out of Cruise and they pulled out, which, which is about 90% of the investment that was in Cruise. So essentially, Cruise is about to be no more. They said that GM pulling out of this AI robo taxi company will save GM like a billion dollars, which is insane. But that goes to show the level of investments that's being poured into a lot of these AI companies. And I think we just are seeing the first domino dropping because right now, for the last few years, AI has been a buzzword. If anybody in any type of company said AI, spoke about AI, predicted AI, anything, it would spike stocks up so high. It would get investors to come in. It would make everybody excited about your company. To the point, I feel like AI is almost in everything that we do now. We have it on Twitter. We have it on Facebook. Heck, we have it here on YouTube right now. We have it in a lot of our apps and everything. Generative AI, chatbots, they're all here. But Robo Taxis was a little bit of a bigger bet. They really wanted to be able to replace a working class of people. And I'm not saying that's what they said they were gonna do, but that seems like the intent. If they're rolling out autonomous taxis that did not need a human in San Francisco, where, well, a lot of foot traffic is happening, they were essentially trying to get rid of taxi workers. A lot of taxi workers did have issues with this, but the fact that Cruise last year had a huge accident was well, 2025 now so the year before that in 2023 had a accident where the ai car basically you know ran into somebody who was a pedestrian and was dragging that person along the street that did a lot of damage to their brand and the reputation but that didn't stop there it's still a good company it's not like they just you know put it underneath the rug or anything like that they still were doing business cruise is still a huge ai company that was doing a lot of numbers in san francisco but the fact that this isn't doing so well a lot of people aren't booking with them and are pulling out they still have things like waymo that's still there and tesla who are still trying to go into the robo taxi space but let's be serious how feasible is this really i can understand the tesla being something more feasible because well you have owner kind of operators like almost like a restaurant model where like you have a subway or mcdonald's where there'd be somebody that comes in and kind of buys the franchise and then operates it it makes a profit there's people who own teslas cyber trucks and so forth that then will turn this into a robo taxi so it's like they're buying it as an investment to make profit out of it but how feasible are these cars right now how good are they for longevity because taking people to and from work and to and from events, these aren't Toyotas and Hondas who are, you know, very reliable. You know, you can beat up on these things forever and they'll last the test of time. These are cyber trucks. These are Teslas. A lot of these Teslas get recalled. A lot of these Teslas need work. A lot of these, you know, well, electric cars need work. And these are not the best companies that are known for reliability. So if you are using your car for robo taxis from Tesla, how feasible is that in the long run? How much maintenance is that? What's the true cost? It's so experimental at this point in time. Time will only tell. Same thing with Waymo and some of these other AI cars. It will only tell once we see the profits. And I think we just saw a first domino fall with this car company. And it kind of doesn't seem like the profits are there, especially going to 2025 in this market. I think a lot of people may be rethinking whether or not AI is really going to replace us or and this is another buzzword that's going to be here, be a part of the company, but that's not going to change everything like everybody's saying it is. Or it could just be early. A little bit too early if you think that any of this is interesting and you want to know more about ai news and other products that are coming out you should definitely like and subscribe with that being said your boy dex not dexter out